Hi, here is another video response to Once Forgiven, Now Free. First of all, you still have not answered my question as to whether you know anything about information. I asked you to compare the four text blocks that I provided, and I'll probably put them again down here. Tell me if you know how to measure information, whether by amount or by complexity, because until you answer that question, you do not know anything about information. So the questions that you bring or challenges and arguments that you bring against evolution are frankly quite meaningless, okay? In this new video, you say that information is specified complexity. Even if I accepted your definition, what is this, tautology? Are you basically saying that if it's specified and complex, then it's information, and if it's not, it's not? Or if it's information, then it will be specified complexity. I mean, do, is this a two-way street or, or what? You then say that um, the letter A is specified but not complex. Wait, says who? You then say that a series of letters that you gave an example of has no meaning. Wait, says who? Just because you cannot decipher what it means does not mean it has no meaning. Because if your definition is you cannot decipher and understand what it means, therefore it has no meaning, therefore it's not information, then you would have to tell me what, sh what each and every section of DNA I can pull out of my database means. Otherwise, it's not information to you either. So unless you have a way of testing your theory and definition of information, pr preferably in, sci in scientific terms, you would have to blind test this consistently. Unless you can do that, you cannot say what something is or isn't information. And so far, the examples you gave are things that have no meaning to you. But you wouldn't hold that same standard if I gave you DNA strands and you could and you would not be able to tell me whether that has meaning to you. Okay, when you're talking about nylonase. I think you completely missed the point. I knew you were going to say something stupid like this was just a gene duplication, one sh brain shift mutation. It was just a change of one little thing in the whole DNA genome. That's not new information. You don't know what new information is. So how about you actually give an example of what is new information and we'll work from there. The point though when people bring up the example of nylonase, is that nylonase is a new function and new meaning that didn't exist prior. So yeah, the mechanism is quite simple. The chances are quite low. But the fact is, it happened. Now, if you just want to say that's not new information, fine. Tell me what is new information. Because Whatever we're going to give you, you're going to say, aha, that's not new information. Tell me what new information is. Otherwise, your question of asking where is the new information or evolution can't create new information is completely meaningless. Do you understand what I'm asking you? So please, answer my question. Do you know how to measure information by amount or complexity? If not, please stop making arguments regarding information, information complexity, specified complexity, design, or anything like that, because you don't know information. So your arguments are quite meaningless and unqualified. I don't know how else to say it nicely.